So, today, I'm going to be making you something with these. And you might think to yourself, what is he going to be making with a couple of twigs? Well, I have quite a few of these little twigs. I'm actually not 100% sure what the wood is, but I will find out for you. <laughs> I was actually inspired by watching this guy who came to Make Essential last year, this year. He's actually coming back next year as well, and he's going to be doing demos on what I'm going to be showing you today. So... The guy's name's Barry. Big Bad Barry, the fish. He's from BKW Wood Turning, or BWK. I'll leave a link below anyway. This guy is brilliant and he makes these really cool things. I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. It may be in the title, I don't know. But you'll see in a minute what I'm gonna be making. Um, I've never done this before. So I've no idea how this is going to turn out. All I've done is I've watched Barry uh, kind of make them. And um, I thought to myself, this is going to be really cool. And I said, Barry, do you mind if I kind of make this, show this on my channel? Um, and he said, yeah, no problem at all. This would be great. So um, I'm going to try today to make you something really cool and funky looking with these little twigs. Little, little twiglicks. And I hope it's going to turn out okay. If it turns out half as good as what Barry can do, well then I'm happy. Look, got my sign back, changed it. Let's hope it doesn't fall down like the last one did. Mind you, that was because of the weather got really hot. It lost its stickiness stuff. As you can see, I've got my nice little Doctor Who scarf on. Somebody pointed out to me the other day on Instagram because it's pretty cold. Right, without further of waffling, let's get on and make this funkiness. Okay, so there we go. There's our little flowers at the moment. So I did a couple more uh, of these ones, slightly different uh, than these ones. So you've got these ones here, which I didn't go back as far as I should have done. And these ones I've gone back a little bit further. Uh, so you can make them kind of a th bit thicker. Um, and you can sort of change the way the middles kind of end up as well, really. So it's up to you what you do with them. So there's a few different sort of variations in there. Uh, and obviously different bits of wood as well create different kind of colors in the wood however we are not going to leave them just like this uh, look at that one that one's quite cool i like that one that is quite smart um we're not going to leave them just like this we are going to add some funkiness to it
Okay, so I've sprayed these all up now using my little air compressor. This is a pretty neat bit of kit actually. I got this on Amazon, I think. I'll leave a link below for this. It's really quite smart. Um, and all I've done here is I've used the chestnut, chestnut paints uh, to mix up in here with. So I've got rid of some of the uh, ones that weren't brilliant. I mean, this is new to me, so hopefully Barry's watching uh, and I'm sure he'll agree that, that uh, I need a little bit of improvement going on here. But um, it's my first attempt at doing these and they look really cool and I really want to try and do this for you. So, right, what we've got now then, I've got rid of some of the uh, rubbish ones. Some cool ones in here, but these aren't so brilliant. But there we go. Hopefully it will create a cool little effect anyway. So I've got these as well. Pick these up on, if you can see them, little little baby wire from a garden centre. All right, so what we're going to do next is drill some holes in here. And we're going to put this little uh, garden wire in the back. Okay, so I've made my flowers, but we can't just finish it there. I think we need a vase for these flowers. What do you reckon? Oh, they look quite cool. They 
they're not as good as berries, but they ain't bad. Some of the flowers weren't brilliant, uh, and that's my fault again, just trying to learn this technique. It's not easy. It's actually quite a skill to try and get the flower to pop uh, the way that you really want it to. Um, but, you know, after a few tries, you know, it, it comes uh, with the skew, as you saw there. Um, some of them look really cool. I like this one and this one here. I like that one there. This one I like. That's quite nice. There's a few in there. Um, and you can spend a little bit more time on the detail of making the tops like really nice and underneath really nice. I didn't spend too much time on those really, but that's not a bad little kind of like gift, is it really for somebody? You know, get that to your mum or, you know, happy Valentine's Day. It's not Valentine's Day, but the thought was there. Cool Christmas gift. I might make a few more of those actually and uh, give them out as Christmas presents. Here you go, Dad. I quite like it actually. When I saw Barry making these, I said, wow, that is amazing. I have never seen anything, anything like this before. And with these little bits of wood, you know, he was just putting them in there and he was just making these flowers, knocking them out. And they look so cool. So it seems so quick and easy. Um, and I think when you get going with it, I think it can be fairly quick and easy to make. These again are just uh, little garden, um, uh, wires and then this was just a piece of wood I found it's quite a nice piece of wood actually and just made a little vase out of it uh, put my emblem in the bottom there if you can see I don't want to tip it up because all the flowers will fall out but obviously these won't die they stay like that forever um, I use the uh, chestnut um, stains as well for that and I'll put a link down below for those as well I'll try and put a link down below for as many bits and pieces that I've used here as I can even including this wood because it is a specific specific piece of wood um and um i'm not sure if you can use other woods or not but i know that this is what barry uses so um i asked him and he said yeah grab a few bits so I, when i saw him i grabbed a few of his uh pieces of wood so that was really kind of him so cheers for that barry so yeah i hope you like it there's a bit of a close-up there look our leaf still was up at the end anyway um so you can see but um, you can obviously do any colours um, and you can lacquer these as well. I haven't really done much to them, but you can lacquer them, you know, make them shine up if you want to or leave, just leave them like that, really. They're, they're kind of cool like that, really, aren't they? Yeah! Hoo-hoo! Hope you like this one. No dislikes on this one. Come on, it's flowers. There's no ketchup in it. Thanks to Barry for letting me do this. Please check his channel out. I don't think he's got a channel, I think it's a website. But please go over there and check out his website. I think he sells these, I'm not too sure. But he does demo these wherever he goes. And don't forget guys, he's going to be at Makers Central next May. So if you want to see him demoing this, be there. Or be square, as Jimmy says. I'm going to put these over here. Oh, aren't they pretty? Well, I do hope you like that one, folks. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, you could share the video. That always really helps. Give us a thumbs up and post us a comment. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm always putting up pictures and little video clips. And I do some stories now and again. So if you want to see what I get up to during the week, head on over and give me a sub. It's free. Have a fabulous weekend, folks. Take care, and I'll see you all really soon. Check out the link below for my kit. Basically, I'll set up a, a kit list. For those of you that want to know where I get all the bits and pieces that I use in my videos, there's a little kit list there for US customers. It's not quite finished yet. I've got a lot more updating to do. And UK customers for beginning wood, wood turners. And I'm slowly going through adding more and more kit to this, to this site. It's really good, actually. If you use the links from my kit, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you any different so bear that in mind but hopefully it'll be really helpful for you guys that are interested in some of the bits and pieces that i use in my workshop i get loads and loads of questions about it but there it all is it's all in my kit bag check out the link below let's get into making stuff